there's a lot of air from it. That's not good. Morning team, welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. It's a beautiful Saturday morning at the Spank Ranch. We gotta go do something I didn't really plan on doing, but uh, we gotta go to my local junkyard and start grabbing some Beretta parts. They had a Beretta come in that is, I guess more sought after, a little more rare, so. All right, you might say, what's a Beretta? What's special about them? Why do you care about them? Uh, well, first of all, it was a, pretty much an economy GM front-wheel drive car throughout the, the late 80s, early 90s. You can say it's a step between like a Camaro and a Cavalier, I guess. Um, but either way, I bought my first one 16 years ago. I've had two since, I still have two. Um, I really like these cars, I've always had a, a really special taste for them. Uh, but anyway, they made a couple harder to find models. The one we're gonna go look at today is an Indy, a teal uh, Indy pace car replica. Uh, they made about 3,500 of them, so with the amount of Berettas left on Earth, it is pretty rare to find an Indy in the junkyard. I used to find them a little bit more back in like the middle 2000s, but I haven't actually personally seen a Beretta in the junkyard for over two years. So we're going to head there now and see if any of the rare or valuable parts are still on it. <sighs> they don't make it easy. These wagons aren't light. Of course, the GMs are in the furthest part of the yard. It's all uphill, so at least the ride down's a little easier. All right, we made it. <clears throat> Best part is nobody's touched it since I discovered this car coming to this yard, so 100% untouched. I got the keys even she was a runner unfortunately one owner um 266,000 miles i think but he didn't want to restore it sold it to someone that he thought would they just ended up junking it so the car's rusty it's got its issues but it's got a lot of good parts on it body kit looks okay this front lip is probably one of the best i've ever seen in person so we'll be taking that the mirrors pretty rare definitely want these And then seats are also in very nice shape. You don't commonly see these indie seats in decent shape. Unfortunately, they bent this bottom one up to get to where they thought the fuel pump was gonna be. But those tabs will straighten out. Rear lip's broken, but that's not special to an indie, so those are easy to come across. Um, so yeah, pretty much body kit, mirrors and seats. That's all I'll be taking. Indy logo, it's falling right off the dash. Kind of cool to have. It's not in great shape, but cool to have. This is actually a really nice mirror. <clears throat> I mean, the paint's got a couple chips on it, but the boot is, you know, flawless. It's not even hard yet. And sometimes the mirrors start to get all yellowed and crap in the corners here. This looks awesome. So, <clears throat> stoked on that. Found the original owner's manual in the glove box. 1990, bought locally in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Just think it's cool that this car was owned by one person, bought this in 1989, and drove it every day until whenever. Uh, Lived a good life, but the parts will live on. Easiest seats to ever remove. I miss that. really rare to find these style seats with the bolsters not all blown out of them i mean you see somewhere here but for 260,000 miles it's a really nice seat two little ash burns here but i had a set of these in my car i got rid of back in 2009 but i thought they were one of the nicest pairs i ever seen this these may be better
Here's the missing center cap. Free. Just poking around here, I noticed something really cool. It's got a factory sunroof, which you can pop that up and remove it. And then GM gave you a bag to slide it into that actually clips into the trunk back here. I think I'm going to take this bag and the clips because um, I've never actually seen one of them in person because I've never had a Beretta with a factory sunroof. All right, what you just saw, I took the whole front bumper off because I actually need a good base GT bumper anyway. But look at this lip. The mounting holes aren't even, aren't even shredded. There's not a single crack on it. Not a single crack on this thing. This is the nicest indie lip I've ever come across. So, not sure if I'll keep it or sell it, but certainly nice. Probably be keeping this bumper though in case somebody really wants Unless somebody really wants it. All right, we're pretty well stripped here. Mirrors are out, seats are out. Front bumper and lip is off. I'm not sure if I'm going to take the skirts or not. It's pretty faded. I've never really been a fan of that look. I mean, I kind of am. Um, I don't know, I gotta think about this for a second. I always come back for them another day, but I'd really prefer not to because it's, it's a freaking hike to get back here. I'm also not going to take the wheels. If anyone really, really wants the wheels, let me know. I can come get them for you, but they're not free, so. Decided to also take the headlights as well. I'm sure I have four pairs of them, but these are actually very nice. So that one's really clear. This one will clean up. No broken tabs or anything. Nice color matched egg crate grill. I think I have a spare somewhere. Actually, I got a couple, but never can have enough of them. And in the mirrors. Also, oh, forgot about the door handle. I'm totally out of spares. If you have a Beretta, you know, you know how that goes. I'm on clip. All right. Good door handle, made in Taiwan. It's not an OEM one, but to find a 90 with an OEM door handle ain't happening, so. Last but not least, I'm gonna grab this factory sunroof bag. It's in great shape, it's dirty, but it is totally intact. And the original straps are there for it, so I gotta get them out. All right, goodbye for now. I may have a change of heart and come back for more stuff later this week. But as for now, we'll leave it there. Honestly, I'd like to take the whole car, but that's just not reasonable. All right, let's get out of here. It's a freaking art to uh, 
drive through all this crap with this wagon. Everything's tediously balanced, but we'll get there. At least it's downhill all the way back to the office. What are you eating now? All right, we made it back to the Spank Ranch. Let's take a look at our loot. Just a couple hours at the junkyard. We got a front grill, two headlights, some really nice condition, very rare indie seats, a nice front bumper with the nicest indie lip I've ever seen on it, sunroof bag, and a replacement door handle, some indie mirrors. So most of these parts are already spoken for. Uh, I think I've pretty much People will want to buy most of them. I'll, I'll keep something here or there for myself. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, continue to save the Berettas.